This is Jamerica with Jamerica Life. I am so glad that you are here. So remember when I threw that uh, bottle of lavender seeds in this cold soap method? Remember that? Even the label survived. And guess what? So did the lavender. The lavender germinated. So it's cold out there tonight. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get my lavender seeds because they've germinated. And it's more than one. Cold soap works. Oh, well, we put it out there about a month ago. They're here. They are here. I just have to get this 500 mile an hour tape off of here. This stuff is super sticky. I don't think I'm gonna upplant it. I was going to, I even went and got some pots, but I'm looking at them. They don't have their secondary leaves on them. And we'll count the number of little seedlings that I have in here after I get the tape off which is a task. Um, <laughs> remember how it was hard for me to get it off? Well, <laughs> it's even harder to get it off. Let me go get a scissors and I'll be right back. We're gonna open this bottle and I'll, we'll take a look at what we have. It's so exciting. I am so, so happy I tried this. I didn't think it was gonna work. Oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Okay, and I'm back. Let me take my scissors and cut this tape off instead of risking messing up my seedlings. So I'm gonna pull this off the best way I can. Jesus, Jesus help me. Come on, all is well. Tape is coming off. Tape is coming off. Oh, I can smell this tape. Tape has a fume. Get the last little bit off. Let me hold the bottle. That is what I'm worried about. Ooh. Okay. We've opened it. One seedling doing a gangster lane. Come on. I want every piece of lavender that I work for. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut this off. I'm going to cut this down too. Without possibly cutting my seedling. I'm gonna grow them in here until, until I can't no more. I don't wanna disturb them. I just wanna, the humidity is still in here. I can feel the sides, pull this off. I can feel the sides of this container wet. I see a little something moving around in here. That's all right. They are alive. They are alive. So let me show you what I did or what God did. Look at that. That is my lavender. Yay! I am so happy. I am so happy. I bought a lavender plant for about 20 something dollars out there. And now I know how to grow it. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> It's a 25, pay, 25 cent pack of seeds from the Dollar Tree. And there's a little gnats in here, but that's okay. I'm gonna bring you closer so that you can see why I'm so excited. We're not gonna use this. I'm gonna put this over to the side. We are not gonna move these seedlings. I'm gonna put it under the grow light. Not where, because it's already sprouted. It's too cold out there right now. I mean, this, cold, this thing is cold, so for real. Because it was cold out there when I put it outside. And... I, I was like, well, I, you know, there is no other way to grow lavender on, and, and except for the COSO method. And I didn't think, you know, put it in the refrigerator. I just, you know, watched, I watched Georgia, I know not, um, Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. And she was cold sowing a whole bunch of CC Texas Garden. She was also, um, grow, you know, growing in bottles like this. And I was like, that looks super rustic. You know, kind of snubbing my nose up. Shoot. Hmm. Oh yeah, a little faith. I'll tell you what. Some stuff that you see people doing on YouTube that you don't necessarily, you know, understand or believe. Because I was like, you leave the cap off? And doesn't it get, you know, doesn't it get too, it doesn't, how does the water get in? I don't know, but it works. You leave the cap off the top of this. This is a, a seltzer bottle, um, a, a soda bottle. 
and you cut it, you cut it halfway open, you tape it back shut, put your seeds in, and I dropped, I remember I dropped this thing. There's another one coming up too. So I have one, two, three, four, five, three, six, and seven coming up. And I dropped this thing. Remember when I put it on the side of the greenhouse? It toppled over. Well, the soil is half, you know, the soil is crooked. But look, that's my lavender. That is my lavender. So there's three things that I know for sure that you have to cold sow. Spinach. The spinach. I didn't put it in a bottle. I had a cement tray out there. And I just threw some seeds in there. I didn't cover it or nothing. No, I covered this the seeds up with soil. I didn't, it didn't I didn't do it like this. So I'm thinking that it's cabbage. Because it came up. And it's it's it went through the I mean it went through the freeze, not just cold so it was freezing out there a couple of nights. And excuse my table, I've been planting. And it came up and I thought it was cabbage, but then I kept looking at it. I said, that is not, it's too green to be cabbage. So I used my Google phone and it's spinach. So with spinach, I didn't put it in the refrigerator. I didn't put it in a bottle. I just threw it into the cement tray and covered it with a little bit of soil and left it out there. Some things, some things you just got to leave alone. And with the cold soil method, you don't do anything. You just put it out there when it's cold and leave it there for about a month and then it germinates that the um the well it germinates when it warms up the spinach just started coming up with little itty bitty leaves and i thought it was i thought it was cabbage but then i said it couldn't be cabbage but this one i marked i didn't mark that because i think i had I didn't have that many seeds left. I had like a half a pack of seeds left. And that was my last ditch effort. I was like, you know what this, this is, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't gamble a lot. I, I don't gamble very rarely, but you know how like, you're in your last couple of quarters in the slot machine. If, for those of you all who, who do that. And you're like, well, I got 50 cents left. I might as well just go ahead and, and do it. And then that 50 cents gives you about $50 back. <laughs> I, I have had something like that happen to me. I had lost all the way down to almost nothing. And um, I got out, came out way ahead of what I did. And, you know, I took my little money and left because I'm not, a, I don't really like losing money. I'm a cheapskate. I get irritated if I lose. Even if somebody gives me the money gamble with, I'm like, I do not like gambling because I do not like losing money. But that's another story. But this that's how I feel about this. I mean, I just... And it was an act of desperation. <laughs> that the artichoke choke, the artichokes. I was intentional about that. I took those seeds and I put a little bit of water on the plate and I put it in the refrigerator for about a month, month and a half, just and made sure it kept on. I kept water on it. That's how those were cold sewed. And those, they after about a month, month and a half, I don't know, time flies for me. After I realized, you know, I felt like it was in there long enough, I planted them because I just put it on a plate with some water. And they're all coming up also. Cold sew works for artichokes, lavender, and spinach. And I did it three different ways. The spinach, I just threw it on the tray. I threw it in the cement tray, threw a little bit of soil on it, put it in the yard and left it out there like, you know, fight for yourself, fight for your life. <laughs> this one, I did it in a soda pop bottle and just taped the bottle shut. And I put it, um, I put it on the, I put it on the side of the greenhouse first, outside of this greenhouse, not inside. I put it outside of the greenhouse. And then when um, I, I started planting my calamundans, I just sat the bottle. No, I sat it on a, a stand first. No, I set it, sat it on on the ground behind right behind the, the greenhouse on the cement it was cold too then i moved it and put it on a stand because i felt like you know i was going to kick the bottle around or something so i got it up off the ground and put it on a stand and it stayed there for another couple of weeks and then i put it um in the pot with the calamundin and i looked in there one day and i saw a little green speck and i said maybe that's a weed you know you don't believe that it's going to happen to you until it happens to you. 
There's my lavender. Artichoke, I did it in the refrigerator. I was real intentional about that. So no matter how you do the cold sole method, from what I'm thinking, as long as those seeds get enough cold and then get that warmth, they're going to sprout up. I don't think. Lavender seeds are small, though. I have some lavender seeds in the refrigerator now because I'm doing an experiment now um, to see if it ha I have the same results. But I'm making sure that the seeds stay wet. They're on a plate just like I did the artichoke seeds. They're on a plate within some water. And I just stuck it on top of some codfish. <laughs> I eat codfish like I eat ackee and codfish, so I keep a lot of codfish. Codfish is salted in any way. The plate is on top of the codfish that is in boxes. And I just leave it up there. I just went over there and put some more water in the plate because the water evaporates. But man, I could, I, I, you, if I can do it, you can do it. Go ahead and put them seeds in the refrigerator with some water. Cold so the, the seeds most likely have to be wet. So I get a plate. I put some water in there. Not a, not a lot, just enough to keep the seeds wet. I put it in the refrigerator. You don't have to buy that thirty dollars. What was that thing? Was I think it was about thirty dollars for that lavender plant, and I could have did it myself. There it is. So this bottle is gonna go. <laughs> I'm so thankful. I am so thankful. This bottle is gonna go into the grow station with the rest of the plants that are, have, <coughs> excuse me, have germinated. Go ahead and cold sow it. Any way you can, because some people still have cold. They're still going through the cold spurts. It's not, it's not Texas. I'm in zone 9A, so, you know, I get cold, but not for long. <coughs> <coughs> but those of you who are still experienced cool, cold weather, go ahead and do the cold so wet method. Three different ways. Throw it in the pot, cover it with some dirt. And then way number one, get a bottle, tape it up. Leave the cap off, put it outside. That's the second method. <clears throat> Third method is put it in your refrigerator with a little bit of water to dampen the seeds. So, man, the more you grow, the more you know. I'm glad I watched some of these ladies um, because, I mean, I think that <clears throat> Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead, she was experimenting with it also. So was Cece. And then they open up their bottles and they got these gigantic, ginormous plants inside. I didn't want to wait too long for this one, though. Yeah, I think it does. Some of them do have their secondary leaves. Let me bring it close so y'all can see. There's my lavender. Beautiful. I keep on showing it to you because I'm amazed. I am amazed. And I think there's one coming up right there. Anyway. I thank you guys for being with me. This is Jamerica with Jamerica Life. Cold sow. Keep the seeds, either put them in some soil, damp soil, or put them in the refrigerator with a little bit of water, and you got it going on. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I thank you guys for being with me, and I'll see you on the next one, all right? Take care. Bye.